Sorry about that, babe. Alright guys, welcome back to Bits Plays Final Fantasy 1 on the NES. This is part 21. Uh, in our last part, we traveled to Gaia on Rack. Uh, we geared up a little bit, we got some magic. Uh, we learned a lot of inf information, um, specifically that we needed to go to the Desert Caravan uh, in order to get the bottle. And there is a lake back in Gaia, or was it on Rack? Let me see. It was in Gaia, where the fairy spring is there, and I think the fairy gives you the oxy ale, which then allows you to go down into the submarine to the sea shrine. So lots of stuff going on there, obviously. Um, and one thing that I ended up doing. I mentioned at the end of my last part was I was going to grind a bit because we were very, very short on money after, um, you know, buying spells and such. Uh, so I did grind at the Peninsula of Power for about maybe 25 minutes, real time, something like that. Um, Bits and Ryu went up two levels to level 19. Jimmy and Ray's went up one level to level 18. I'm sure they're about to level up again shortly. Um, I just realized that Bits and Ryu can learn low level magic right now. So that's something to keep in my memory bank. I actually want to write that down. I don't think I'm going to take care of that yet, but... Magic for Bits and Ryu. Final Fantasy Notes. Oops, I already have a Notes. Notes 2. There we go. See? The things that you, uh, you learn on the fly, right? So anyways, we did that, and as you can see from my inventory, we also loaded up on heals, and I replenished some tents, mainly just for saving purposes. I didn't really bother loading up on any more cures or softs, and the only other thing that was done off screen besides buying those and grinding was I sold the power staff from Jimmy because Jimmy is now just using the cat claw, and to my knowledge the power staff has no extraneous ability uh, such as Razor's heal staff. At least that I saw anyway. I tried it in battle and nothing happened, so if something does happen and I fucked that up then oh well, it is what it is. Nonetheless. It is now time to go to the Desert Caravan because we have... How much money do we have? 60,000. And this uh, thing that we're gonna buy costs 50, so... Wanted to make sure that I didn't completely bankrupt myself, you know what I mean? Uh, I gotta go north, right? Am I on the right continent? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. We are, <laughs> we are not on the right continent. Okay. We're in the right path, though. Pretty much if we just fly left, we'll get to where we need to be. Okay. Can I land right here? We can. Straight shot? Ooh, straight shot to the caravan. And here it is, the Oasis Caravan, where we're going to purchase the bottle. Alright. I'm gonna run, hopefully we don't get poisoned, but I've had really bad luck with this, so. Oh wow, look at that. Would you look at that. Okay, so now we're gonna head back to Gaia, which was the town that's not connected to this landmass. So we're gonna fly a little bit north, maybe about like right here, and then head over. <clears throat> and we should be able to interact with the fairy. Um, with our bottle in hand. Um, let's see, here we are. end of town, right? Oh yeah, it was up and to the right, but I think I have to enter in over here. Hopefully. <clears throat> oh, no! Where did I take a wrong turn here? Am I in the right town? 
Shit, man. Did I go to the right place? Yeah. Why am I having a brain fart right now? Uh, oh, it's further up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up this way. <clears throat> so I'm hoping we can get to the sea shrine in this particular part of the playthrough. I, from what I remember, it's it's kind of difficult. So we're definitely not gonna like beat the sea shrine. <laughs> but I would at least like to get there and get that started. I remember the sea shrine was pretty big from the PS1 version at least. All right, let's use the bottle here. Pop, a fairy appears and then is gone. What? Oh, there we are. That pirate trapped me in the bottle. I will draw oxale from the bottom of the spring for you. Thank you, fairy. All right. So now we can head back to Onrack and use the ox rail, ox ale, excuse me, uh, to be able to use the submarine to get down to the water shrine. Sea shrine. I keep going with the water shrine. It's, it's the sea shrine. It is the sea shrine. <clears throat> Okie doke, let's fly back here. And this is gonna be that town that I have to park my ship a little ways away from. In order for me to walk there, yep. Can I park in the marsh? I don't remember. I didn't think so. Let's park right here. Remember my famous last words last time? I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna get poisoned in the sea as easily. And then I got attacked and poisoned instantly. How about that? <clears throat> yeah, I mean... I'm not at the very end of the game, but I'm pretty close to the end of the game, and I must say, the Peninsula of Power pretty much reigns supreme as the best area to grind in the whole game. Otherwise, like, I guess if you didn't know about it, which is obviously very possible back in the day, that giant area in the... was it the Earth Cave? It might be the second best place to grind, I guess? <clears throat> Either way. I'm not going to buy anything else. First of all, I don't really have much money. And secondly... Oh, excuse me. It's probably just not really worth it. Yeah, this town doesn't even have um, an armory or anything like that, which is kind of odd. <clears throat> Alright, let me use that submarine, baby. Warriors, you have the oxa Oxiel. The mermaids wait. Please help them. Um, so this sends me... In the PS1 version, it gives you a cutscene. Which is cool, but also kind of annoying, because I feel like I had to make three trips down there. Um, hmm. I'm just trying to think about my next course of action. I do know that I have to go to the Sea Shrine. I guess I should probably go to the, um... Probably rest at the inn. Just so we have a save nearby. And don't have to do this all over again. Know what I mean? Ooh, there's... See your face upon the clean water. How dirty come wash your face. I can't remember if that was just a meme or if there was something that we end up doing there. Nevertheless, let's get started in the Sea Shrine, shall we? Well, it's not going to be easy, I'll say that much. Oh, I'm sorry to keep yawning, jeez. So, as you can expect, um, you know, if you know anything about elements and Pokemon and such, lightning 
Um, pretty much is going to do the, the majority of the work down here, but unfortunately we don't have any lightning spells. Luckily we do have the exit spell, which should allow us to progress properly. Oh yeah, I like this music too. Look at the aesthetic here, baby. Look how blue that is. Let's go. Alright, so we are going to loot. And yeah, I know we need to get that uh, slab that people were talking about to learn uh, Lefinish, Lefinich. Either way, the only way we could do that is onward and upward. So there's a couple different paths we could take. I'm trying to map out which path I want to take. 3B or 3A. Well, first things first, let's loot this particular floor, and we'll see uh, what what things have to offer here. I feel like a lot of these people can poison me. I'm looking at the spells, and it doesn't... Oh, shit. A lot of these people know rub. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I think they do. No, they don't. They're resistant to rub, that's it. Okay, got it. Oddly enough, a thing called water is weak to ice. Who'd have ever guessed? <laughs> Some of the stuff in this game, man, is a little weird. Two thousand G's. See, the gold is actually going to be great down here, guys, because... I've spent a lot, obviously. <clears throat> It's really funny, like, your general knowledge of games, and even RPGs, for the most part, they're gonna tell you... You know, I should probably, like, fight a lot of these guys, right? But in reality... I don't even think it's really worth it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna fight this fight, because I don't want to avoid all of them. Obviously, but... I don't know. Yeah, there you go. I'm getting poisoned across. <laughs> Look at that. And this is why you don't fight, right? <clears throat> and it's like there's a time and place for uh, for leveling up, and you know, in my opinion, that's not here. Your best bet, honestly, in these games, especially kind of like my second and a half sort of time through, you know, since I never beat the Game Boy Advance version, I played it all wrong. You should really just grind before you go into the dungeons and then honestly run away from almost everything and then just fight the boss. I guess that could be said about a few RPGs, but you know, for the most part, a lot of them you can kind of just, yes, raise leveled up nice. You can kind of just, um, level up as you go sort of thing, but nah, on these ones, man, I recommend totally that you level up outside of these dungeons and then take the dungeons on as they come. Too much just BS, as you see, I decide to fight once and two people get poisoned right away, you know? And thank goodness I know that exit spell now, man, because... We gonna need it. Um, okay, so, a couple ways to go here. We can go to floor 2A or for floor A. Now let me look at 4A. That'll bring me to the main area in floor 5. Okay, I think I want to go to the 4 route first because it looks like there's more loot there. And how am I doing on inventory space? Uh, quite a bit for that. Armor, I only have three, which kind of sucks. There's an opal armor, opal bracelet, opal shield, opal helmet, opal gauntlet. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to loot and retreat a little bit. That's okay. That's the name of the game. Plus, we can always fast forward stuff as well. I keep, keep forgetting about the fact that I don't have to show you guys everything. Otherwise, we'd be here a lot longer than what you guys are seeing on YouTube, that's for sure. <clears throat> I will run away from you. Thank you.
Wow, those stairs are, they're like freaking camouflage, dude. Look at that. All right, so now we are on floor 4A and there is armor, a staff, an ax, a shit ton of gold. One of the chests has like nothing in it. I'm probably gonna avoid that one. But we're gonna have to work our way to the upper left to get the opal armor, which is a bit of a walk. I gotta say, I actually really like the limited color palette that they have in here. Obviously the PS1 version looks a lot better, but it's kind of cool that everything's just so blue. <clears throat> and these fights, obviously, when it's like one or two, and I know that I'm not gonna get like, kabong with like horrible magic or status effects, I will fight those, because it's like, why not, you know? All right, the opal armor is up here. I'm gonna have to check my magic chart. Quite unaware of... Ooh. See, this this is one of those instances, man, where it's like, I feel like if I can't run away, then I just get fucking destroyed. So I'm gonna use lightning. Because I can get hit nine, potentially 18 times by these things. Oh man, Ryu needs a uh, weapon upgrade. <laughs> Current sword ain't doing too well, that's for sure. Oh, maybe I should get the cat claw for him, unless we get a lightning sword. I don't know. The stupid part is, is we're probably not even gonna get that much experience or money from this fight. Let's see. Eh, we actually got a decent amount of gold. Experience, so-so, but Jimmy leveled up, which is awesome. I did say that they were, uh... Pretty close to leveling up. Okay, opal armor. Now let's see who could wear that. This has got to be one of the... Uh... Yeah, it's actually the... Okay, so only bits could wear it. It is a significant upgrade. It's the last armor before the dragon armor. <clears throat> so that is a very worthwhile loot. Um... Where's Opal at? Right there. Ice armor. It sucks, because, like, ideally I'd like to hold on to all this stuff, but the inventory is not the same as the old game, so I'm probably gonna end up selling the ice armor, even though it might give me a slight advantage later on against some of the elemental fiends when we... Ah, oh, man, I won't fight these guys again. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna give it a try. Go against everything I just said. Yeah, we're gonna get fucking destroyed, aren't we? Ah, uh, they're not hitting that much. Except the one with the critted Ryu, apparently. Yeah, I can't even run from the fight. Ah, how frustrating, man. It's all creeping back into my memory now, everybody. It's all creeping back into the memory. Because you keep you run into stuff like this where you can't even run away, right? <clears throat> so at the very least, it kind of just like wastes your time almost. So my goal here is I want to loot this floor and pretty much loot as much as I can on the next floor. And then I'm probably going to escape and rest at the inn and go back. And what I'll do is I'll obviously fast forward when I get to a new point. But we'll see. So I could freely use... I gotta make sure I save the exit. But we still got a lot to loot on this floor. I'm gonna skip the one in the middle, as I said, because apparently it's only 20 gold, which really isn't worth it, clearly. <laughs> one of these chests, though, has a ton of gold, man. And I will fight you as well. Man, Jimmy coming in with a pretty good hit there, because I was probably going to cast a low-level lightning spell. Would have done probably less damage anyway. Still not very good with the defense, but that's to be expected of a, of a major healer. Man, we were really close to one-cycling it. Oh. I'm just happy that we're replenishing some of that gold that we had to burn to get down here. 
All right, the light axe. Let me uh check the old chart. Light axe can be used by bits or Ryu. This might be Ryu's uh 2815. Nah, it's probably going to be Ryu's, man. I'm using the ice sword still currently. Yep, this is gonna be a reused weapon, 100%. 100%. That's good, because he needed an upgrade. Nice. Like that a lot, that's for fucking sure. Okay, so luckily, actually, the two places that we want to loot are directly to the right, as well as the uh, step to floor 5. So. Wait a minute. Oh man, yo, this, I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm seeing so many problems and errors with this Nintendo Power Guide. So I just got the Light Axe, but it says that it was supposed to be the Mage Staff. So now I'm hoping that they didn't get the the one that's labeled uh, as 20 gold wrong, because <laughs> I'm not near it right now. Ah, I should have... Yeah, you can't run away from these fights, can you? Stupid me. Everybody just got hit for no reason. Man, that's what I'm talking about. You don't get a run in? Kinda screwed. There we go, that's a little bit better damage there from Ryu. Alright, we're gonna need a good harm too here. That is not a good harm too. Getting sketchy here. All right, um... Hopefully I can get that off. Hopefully. All right, good. Good, good, good. <clears throat> Yeah, I forgot, like, uh, you have a pretty rough time running away from, like, specters and ghosts for whatever reason, too. Not quite sure why, but... I didn't realize how, uh, low bits was there, jeez. Look how quick these go, man. Alright, so the, they swapped the Mage Staff and the Light Axe in the, uh, in the thing. So I'm wondering... Clearly the Mage Staff doesn't do as much damage as the Cat Claw. I'm gonna have to look up to see if it has, like, a magic, um... Whatchamacall? Something attached to it that does magic, basically. God damn it, I don't wanna fucking do this. Uh, talk about poo-poo, right? Damn. This is damage all over the board. Alright, could you not gang up on Ryu? Please? We're getting a shit ton of gold, which is really nice. Cannot lie, that is very nice. The reason I'm spamming that is because I am going to be leaving soon. I'm definitely going to be retreating and saving and probably calling it quits for the particular part of the playthrough as well. Ah uh, yes, one, two, three, five, zero gold. What are we back up to? Nice, we're almost back up to the 50k, pretty much, that we needed for the, um... Whatchamacall? You know what I'm trying to say. The fairy thingy! Alright, um... So, we could loot directly above us for gold gold bracelet. 
Oh, there's mermaids in there. Huh. And I'm assuming that only bits could use the bracelet? Oh shit, but you know what though? Hold up. I want to keep that Zeus gauntlet, I think. Armor. Uh, Zeus gauntlet could be used- it can be used by Ryu. Opal. Opal bracelet could be used by everybody, okay. So... Opal bracelet. Um... Gold bracelet. Opal bracelet. But the gold bracelet is better. But... Definitely an upgrade for Rays. Can it be an upgrade for Ryu? I don't know. Mm, probably not, right? Silver armor. 18 and 8. Well, let's check, I guess. Ryu is at 4467. Oh, that's a huge upgrade. Damn, dude. Oh, I think I'm gonna keep that then. Sorry, Raze, you're getting screwed out of that, but it is what it is, buddy. Okay. Um, I guess we'll... I don't know, honestly, if I feel like talking to the mermaids. I feel like I have to, though, which kind of sucks. If we cannot regain the power of the water, we will become bubbles and then disappear. You have responded to me. Yeah, you might have to talk to all of them, actually. My friend Daryl went to land and then never returned. I've often wondered what happened. Maybe she grew legs and walked away? Well, first, I didn't realize Daryl was a girl. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Unbelievable. You could breathe underwater? I'm impressed. Me too. Um, it looks like there's a dead end of the upper area. So let's go grab this gold. Okay, and there's another mermaid that I didn't talk to yet right here. Are there enemies up here? I'm almost feeling like there isn't. Please save the sea and make the orb shine again. Okay, so that was that. And then here's gonna be more gold. I suppose you were the legendary. The legendary. Ten G's, baby. Are we going to come bubbles? I don't know. Alright, so we have another mermaid and a pure potion. I don't think there's any battles up here, man. I'm not confronting anything, so that's awesome. I thought there was, this was gonna be littered with them. This is the shrine's top floor. The fiend of the water kraken lives on the bottom floor. Gotcha. So yeah, the other way was how I would go for the, uh... To unlock the mirage tower and the Le leafinish. The leafinish used a musical tone, okay. So we gotta get the slab to learn the language, and then we can unlock the tower, which is like endgame type of stuff. As long as the Fiend of Water lives, we hoo boo hoo. Opal Shield. Okay. I'm probably just gonna give that to bits, alright? Better than the Ice Shield. Okay, cool. So we could sell the ice shield, and I feel like if I need to loot this entire floor, I could always sell or uh, dump the silver armor. Let me just see here. Opal shield, opal bracelet, opal helmet. Okay, so there's a helmet and a gauntlet. Hmm. So we are going to be in a bit of a uh, looting dilemma yet again. I feel like that happens a lot in this game, man, with the, the way the system's set up. Kind of unfortunate. So this is just gold. Which is fine. And then, how do we get over here?
Hmm. Oh, I wonder, actually. Because we can't go that way. So I'm wondering if that actually... I'm, I'm trying to dig back deep into the memory bank here. I think this upper left area might wrap around. It's either a complete dead end or it wraps. It wraps. Okay. Makes sense. And now we're in the upper right hand portion where we could obtain our final loots. Opal helmet, opal gauntlet, and the slab. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Can't hold anymore. Alright. Um, it's unfortunate, but I don't feel like coming back up here, so we're gonna drop the silver. And probably the ice shield. Opal helmet. Opal gauntlet. And the slab, baby. Got that slab. Now do we do we do the slab first? Or do we bring the slab somewhere later? Yeah, you do have to beat the, the, get the third orb first. Okay, but this was, you gotta kill, you know, the enemy of this area to get the orb, but you also needed the slab. So this is like half, the job's halfway done in the sea shrine already. So it must be the bottom floors that become a big pain in the rectum. Um, okay, so that being said, let's trade uh, that, equip. And Zeus Gauntlet and Opal Gauntlet. Let me let me check here. Okay, the Opal Gauntlet can only be used by Bits. The Zeus Gauntlet can be used by Ryu, and the Opal one is better. So I'm gonna trade, equip, trade, equip. Okay, so the pro ring comes off then. Hmm. Tough one. I might leave the pro ring on for now, and I just gotta remember to equip the, uh, the Zeus Gauntlet later. Because I heard that you can get rubbed. Pause. Which we don't want. Okay, so. I'm gonna say that it is in our best interest to cast the exit spell. And heal back up. And then go... We have to go lower to face the Kraken, right? 3A to floor 2A. We missing something in here, Nintendo Power? Man, I'm telling you, it's like, did they get like super tired down the stretch? There we go. I feel like they've been making so many mistakes lately in here. All right, exit. Lost, no way out. Is it hopeless? Use this spell to exit. Look at that. Would you look at that? So I would say that was a pretty successful trip, in my opinion. Um, we have a lot of gold, but I'm gonna say it's not necessary right now to spend it. That's something that we could probably reevaluate after the cave, especially considering Nintendo Power didn't even recommend that we buy a single sp <laughs> Not a single spell here. Isn't that nuts? But maybe something back at Gaia? Hmm. I did want to buy ice back at Gaia and probably harm four, but... I'm gonna just throw caution to the wind at this point and continue to rack up some gold and then I can make my decisions later. So for now, we'll do this. We'll save, and we'll call it a playthrough. Very successful. Uh, managed to get the slab for the Leafinish language out of the Sea Shrine. And we are now gonna head back to go to the bottom floor, as per the mermaid's instruction, to presumably fight the boss and get the orb of this particular dungeon. So, if you guys have been enjoying this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I do my best to reply to all comments and all videos. Truly appreciate everybody that watches these. It means a lot to me. Hope you're enjoying it and I'll see you next time. Take care.